waka 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 Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. Waka 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 waka. Oh, <laughs> Mark's going to show us how to animate Pac-Man in this episode, I and am. you got to see this. I am. It's I am. It's it's great yeah. because uh, I hear this this tone constantly. Like, who would use motion for doing this kind of stuff? Use After Effects. <sighs> ridiculous i can't wait to for you to see it's this it's a fast and easy yes. thing yeah so I, I, re I recently did a, a a movie for the delfina restaurant group and you can see it on vimeo i'll yeah. post a link to it yeah. and um what i did is i imitated pac-man and what i'm gonna do is I play some of it for you but without the audio yeah. so, so i talk through it a little bit but basically <laughs> what i did is i started with the uh, original pac-man outline <laughs> and then i replaced every single element with different things from uh, that I shot in the different restaurants. So I shot hundreds of items and uh, made selections, cut them out in Photoshop and built a new course based on the Pac-Man. And then- Is that pasta as the course? There's a little bit of everything. So the, those are balls of dough, of pizza dough. So he eats them, he becomes a pizza. Then he eats tomatoes <clears throat> and the tomato paste gets on him. And then instead of ghosts, we have these calamari, which are the logos from the restaurant that <laughs> come chasing after him. And then he's eating some mozzarella cheese and some basil. Uh, and uh, he gets some cheese on him and scares away the ghost there. And he comes up here, uh, eats some pasta, and then he gets cooked, uh, which drives away another <laughs> one of the ghosts. And he keeps going. And I'll stop there and I'll leave the end for you to, to watch to see what happens. There's a little more things happen at the end. But it's a great example of some fun things you can do with motion. So I wanted to use it to demonstrate a couple things and show how I animated it, basically. So I have here a motion project. This is the real motion project that I used for the first half of the animation. I'll press play, um, and you'll see it's, it'll go a little slow. I have you know, many, many elements on here, but you see there he's moving along and, and eating, eating each of those things. If I open up just one of these folders, so I'll, I'll option click to open up the course, which are all the elements on the course, and you can see this is just one group so you get the idea oh my of, gosh it's just one <laughs> we're not going to be publishing I'm still, this look, project I'm still, anywhere <laughs> i'm still going i'm still going so there's a lot of elements and i used replicators to to write copies of a lot of these elements uh wow. but there's a lot of elements in here because i wanted a lot of options as i was building out so this is a very big thing but the reason i wanted to show you this in particular is because the camera if I hit f6 for the timing pane you can see here in the timeline, I have keyframes, and I could have used a move behavior, right. but in this case, I just chose to use keyframes to animate the camera as it zooms in and as it follows him as he, as he moves around the board. But the thing is, once I animated the camera, I still wanted to be able to look around in different parts of the board in order to plan the next move. But I didn't want to ruin my keyframes. Right. So what I did is I added a second camera. So you can see there's a, a second camera called building camera, which I used during the building process. So at the top left in the camera menu, at any time, I could switch to the building camera, shift Z to fit it to the window. And now this camera is completely independent from the animated camera. So with this one, I can zoom in really close to an area that I might be want to work on, because I was building this as I was going, and I could drag over and then I could work over in this area. Maybe I want to place some of those drinks or the coffee cups or whatever. Um, but the point is, having this separate camera allowed me to work and go anywhere I wanted without affecting the animation I had already built. Okay, so that, that's number one. So I use that, and then I'll switch back to the what's called here the first camera, the camera for the first half of the shot, and the camera follows him around as he goes through this first set of activity. Now, I'm going to switch to a slightly simpler project to show you how I animated the Pac-Man himself. That's and pretty darn complex so, and pretty yeah. cool. So this, all this is, is I've got the course as a still image that I exported out. Right. And I've got two pizzas in a group. And that they're right there. And if I turn the top one off, I have one uh, that has a piece cut out for his mouth. Okay. Right. So I want to animate that top one to turn on and off. Right. Okay. So I'm going to use a behavior to do that. So I'll select that top one. In the Let me guess, an oscillate behavior. Yeah, you're all over it. You're all over it. So in the inspector for opacity, I'll control click on opacity. I'll choose add parameter behavior, oscillate. And by default, if we play now, you'll see that uh, it does very, there it goes. Oh, it there. fades oh. out and fades in yeah. very, very slowly. So it's way too slow. So I'm going to change the speed from 10 to about 100. Um, so now it blinks, but that's still not quite the action we want. But this oscillate behavior is really powerful. I'm going to change the wave shape from a sine, which is a nice smooth curve, so it smoothly right. fades in and fades out. Instead, I'm going to use a square, 
which changes the state from either on or off, because a square yeah. you know, uh, waveform is just yes. either on or off. So now we've got the blinking. So that's really all it took. And then I would adjust the speed based on how fast he was moving to make him grab at the food for the right time. So then to make him move, this is what's really cool and so powerful. I'm going to select the group that contains both of those pizzas. Then from the pop-up menu here, I'll go to basic motion and I'm going to use the motion path behavior. I'm going to press F6 to close the timing pane because we don't need it here. Now the motion path by, by default is kind of goes off the screen here. So I'm going to hold down the space bar and drag over. I want to grab this endpoint and get it back on the screen. Shift Z. Now this is what is so much fun. To make this go anywhere, like, I, like let's say I want him to go over here and come up around and come back down. Well, let's say I want him to end right here. But in the meantime, I want him to move all around. I'm just going to hold the Option key down and click to create more control points. And I'll put one there. And I'll Option click again. I can't even, I could barely see the path from yeah, here. Yeah, it's a little hard to see because it's this red line on a black background. Ah. Um, I'll Option click here, and then I want it to go over there. So all I need to do is add control points, and it doesn't matter where they are on this path, it will still have a smooth, even um, velocity, no matter where I put these. So once I've done that, I'm going to add the Shift key to select each of those that I can barely see uh, <laughs> points. Oh, I'm going to select them all, Shift select each of them, because you notice they're curved by default, and I don't want that, but I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to Control click and choose Linear. And right away, I have a nice uh, square hard angle. square path, right? And now I'll deselect and select the motion path behavior again, so I can just click on one at a time and send them up exactly where I want. So it's so fast and flexible and easy to create this thing. And once I've done that, when I play, he'll move exactly along that path. Now you so notice his mouth when, isn't pointing the right. His mouth direction. isn't pointing, and we also we want these guys to be up here. But this is so easy to adjust after fact. Now, how the, to fix his mouth? All we need to do is go back to the behaviors menu under basic motion and choose snap alignment to motion. Right. Okay. Now I had actually rotated him to create this, so now he's going backwards by default. But in the inspector, I'll just choose invert axis, a little checkbox <laughs> allows us to switch it. So now he will turn and follow exactly the path that we want at a constant speed. And if I want that speed to uh, be faster, I can just trim this behavior in the mini timeline to make it shorter and it'll move faster, but at a constant rate. And if I want to change where it goes, it's so easy to do because I can just move these control points anywhere I want. So like when he gets down here, let's say I want him to come over and move um, in this direct, go down here. Okay, I'll put one there. I'll option click to add another control point. And I'll move that up here and I'll make that a linear one. And now he has a completely different uh, trajectory that he'll follow down there, I, maybe I turned off the snap alignment to motion. Oh, I, I trimmed the snap alignment to motion down too. Okay, so you can very, very quickly change the motion path and it will always have a constant speed. And it just, it, it was really fun to build this with behaviors in motion. Tracking up. <laughs> <laughs> All those, uh, it, there's a, a lot of work that you did. It's, it's fantastic. Well, the, the work was really in making these pieces disappear. I just had animated masks move with them. Underneath, yeah. To, and to, to make each piece disappear after you ate it. That took the most work. But creating the motion path was actually easy. Laying it out took the most work. Fantastic. It was very fun. All right. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> that was, uh, I always enjoy stuff like this, especially stuff that, you know, harkens back to the 80s. Yes. Anyway, so thanks for watching another episode of Mac Break. Check out Mark's uh, motion tutorials. You want to check out Getting Started in Motion. If you're interested in motion, uh, he has a great introductory tutorial you want to check out on the website. Check us out on the usual social media places, and we will see you next week on another episode of Mac Break Studio. Thanks for watching. Waka, 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 waka,